Shalom, I'm Captain Zakar to my right. Officer Uriel. And this is 15 Minutes with a Captain. Today's topic is Black Jesus. Mm. And I ain't talking about the one that came on, uh, what, I don't know, what is that? What, uh, MTV or something? MTV, Network. Cartoon Network, yeah, yeah. somewhere. Adult, Adult Swim. Adult Smoking weed, drinking 40s. With the perm in his head. I ain't talking about that Black mm. Jesus walk around in Oakland. I'm talking about the real black Jesus that, right. that sits next to the right hand of God. That's right. That's soon to come back. Let's That's get you a little right. bit of description of what he was like. Because uh, he's been lied on in these last days. Let's prove it. Matthew 24. And he knew it. He knew it was coming before he left. Matthew 24, 3 through 5. Matthew chapter 24, verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us. When shall these things be? And what shall what shall be the sign of thy coming? Uh-huh. And of the end of the world. The end of this world that we are in now, meaning this rulership. Go ahead. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Nobody deceives you because there's going to be lies taught on me. Go ahead. For many uh -huh. shall come in my name. Saying, I am Christ, uh -huh. and shall deceive many. And how was they going to deceive? They're going to deceive you by his teachings, what he looked like. Right. And most of all, they're going to deceive you by changing his demeanor that he rolled in while he was on the earth. Right. So let's get to, give me that in 2 Corinthians 11 and 4. Because he only not warned you, but Paul warned you also. Give me that, 2 Corinthians 11 and 4. 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 4. Uh -huh. for, if he, for if he that cometh preaches another Jesus. Why would he have to say if somebody comes preaching another Jesus? Because he knew that somebody, which happens to be the Caucasian man on this earth, was right. going to come and teach another Jesus and preach another Jesus right. and deceive many. He had to warn the Israelites in Corinth that you got to beware. And warn us today also, right. beware. Go ahead. Whom we have not preached. Whom we have not preached. We didn't, we didn't preach no, no uh, Caucasian Jesus, right. some effeminate that loves everybody and two fingers with a halo over his head all the time. We didn't preach that stuff. Right. And we're going to prove it as we go. Read on. Or if ye received another spirit, uh -huh. which ye have not received, mm -hmm. or another gospel. Another gospel is that all nations can be saved. Right. That's another gospel. That's what Christ was warning you about. He didn't come for everybody. We read the scripts on that. Right. Neither was the prophet sent out to teach everybody. Neither did the disciples go and teach everybody. That's another gospel. Read on. Which ye have not accepted, uh -huh. ye might well bear with him. Just, just hold, uh, uh, what does that say? Uh, uh, bear your patience. Right. right? It says just keep your patience, hold fast to your patience until I come back. You just keep pulling these scripts on them and let right. God's word be true in every man a liar. Right? Give me that in Revelation chapter 1. Now let's get what Jesus looked like. Revelation 1, let's start at verse 10. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 10. Uh-huh. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day uh -huh. and heard about... Hold on, before we go back, the Lord's day mm -hmm. is the seventh day of the week, known as Saturday. Right. That is the Lord's day, not what white Jesus and his uh, homeboy, the Caucasian people, made up. The right. Lord's day is the seventh day. Read on. That's right. And heard behind me a great voice. As of a trumpet. So one characteristic of black Jesus is he was loud. Right. Who's, who's louder than black and Hispanic people on the face of the earth? Nobody. That's how you know that Christ is black, God's black, and we his people because we just naturally loud. Right. He heard a loud voice behind him like a trumpet. Read on. Saying, I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. The first and the last. Uh-huh. And what thou seest... Write in a book. Write what you see in a book because it's going to be some people come into power that's going to deceive many. Right. One way is by the image. Jump down to verse 12. Verse 12. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. Uh -huh. And being turned, I, I saw seven golden candlesticks. Mm -hmm. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. One that looked like Jesus the Christ. Right. Let's, let's prove that the Son of Man is Jesus the Christ. Go to Matthew chapter 16. Matthew 16, and let's read verse 13. Matthew chapter 16, verse 13. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea. So this is Jesus talking. Go ahead. Philippi. He asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say I, that I... 
that the Son of Man am. Read it again. Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? Jesus said, who do people say that I, the Son of Man, am? Right. Do they say I'm some white dude with long, stringy dog hair? Who do they say I am? So let's go back to Revelation 1 and let's read verse uh, uh, 13 again. Because this is why John said, is one that looked like the same person that said he was the Son of Man back right. in Matthew 16. Read that again, verse 13. Verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. One that looked like Jesus that I know. Go ahead. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. Uh huh. And girt about the paps with a golden girdle. A golden girdle. You know what this is? You know, a lot of people make fun of us talking about purple Power Rangers right, and, and right. looking like Barney right. and uh, y'all cute dogs <laughs> and stuff. Y'all have no idea that what we got on is the clothes that Jesus was wearing. Royalty. Black Jesus was that's wearing. That's right. A garment down to the foot that's royal, like you said. There you go. Negroes don't know nothing about royalty today. Nothing at all. I'm trying to get royalties off a daggone track and barely getting paid. Right. right let's let's move on. <laughs> so it says he had a golden girdle around his waist, right? Verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So it says his head, right? The hair on his head and the hair on his face was like wool, right? Read on. As white as snow. Uh-huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So it was wool in texture and white in color. And his eyes, the whites of his eyes were Red, because he drunk wine, right? Read on. And his feet uh -huh. like unto fine brass. Which is brown. As if they burned in the furnace. But that brown had looked like it's been burned. So it was extra dark. Right. Extra dark. So now give me, um, I want to go to John. Give me John. Is that what I got? No, John 14. I want to go there to prove to the naysayers that, that be like, that's not talking about his hair. See, y'all making that fit what you want to say. Right. You're twisting the words, right? Let's read John chapter 14 and let's read uh, 8 and 9. John chapter 14, verse 8. Uh -huh. Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father and it sufficeth us. So he wants to see what the Father looks like because no right, man has right. seen God, right? right? We all know that scripture. Christ said no man has seen God but the Son, right. right? So he says, show me what the Father looks like. Read on. Jesus saith unto him, uh -huh. Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me had seen the Father. If you seen me with your eyes, you read the description in the book of Revelation, right. and you can picture what I look like, you picture what my Father looked like, right. right? And it said that Jesus had woolly hair and dark brown skin that looked like it had been burned in the furnace. Right. Finish it out. And how saith thou then, show us us the Father? Show us the Father. Give me Daniel chapter 7 and 9. For those that say that Revelation 1 and 14 about the wool, he said his head was white. That's not talking about his hair. Let's prove it. Daniel 7 and 9. Because Jesus said, I look like my daddy. Read that. Daniel chapter 7 verse 9. Uh -huh. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit. That's the Most High God. That's God. Read on. Whose garment was white as snow, uh -huh. and his hair of his head. The hair on his head, just like we read about Jesus right. in Revelation 14. Right. What kind of hair does Jesus' father have, the Most High God? Read. Like the pure wool. The hair on God's head is like pure wool. That's why we know in Revelation 1, 14... That that hair that was uh like a sh that was wool, right. white like wool. Right. That's talking about the texture of his hair, cause Jesus said, "I look just like my father." Right. His father got pure woolly right. hair on his head, the hair that Negroes and Hispanics have today. Right. That's what kind of hair it God used, got. It used to be proud of back in the seventies. Yeah, it used to, to rock and rock the fro with, with the, the fist right, all the time, right? right? But we gave way to uh, uh, assimilating with our oppressors there for better go. jobs because our our uh, natural God-given hair, it offends Scare, them. Right. It go. scares them. So we straightened it and lay it right. down and make it look dead. Right. But our hair is alive like God's is. That's right. Just like God pure is alive. Wool. Pure wool. So the hair of his head like the pure wool. Finish it up. Like the pure wool. Uh -huh. His throne was like the fiery flame. And his wheels as burning fire. All right, let's go to Ezekiel now. So we got the color of, uh, I mean, the texture of God's hair. Let's get his skin color. Um, or, or the color of his spirit. Right. Right? Um, <laughs> right. Ezekiel chapter 1, 26, 27. Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 26. 
and and above the firmament that was over their heads was the likeness of a throne. So we're talking about their throne again. Go ahead. As the appearance of an asphire stone. As a, sapphire. a sapphire stone. That means it was blue, right? Go ahead, because this is what sapphire is. Go ahead. And upon the likeness of the throne. And upon the likeness of that throne. Was the likeness of the appearance of a man above upon it. So it's a man sitting on the throne that he's looking at, right? Read verse 27. And I saw as the color... He saw the what? As the color... Ezekiel saw the color of the man sitting on the throne. It was what color? Of amber. Of what? Of amber. Come on now, we can't play stupid. Right. We all know what the color of amber is. Right. We all know amber is brown. Right. So so in Ezekiel and in... Now we're piecing it together. Right. Daniel seen a man with woolly hair, pure wool hair. Ezekiel said that was a brown man right. sitting on the throne. A brown man with woolly hair. And then we get what his son looked like in Revelation, Revelation. 114 is a dark black man with woolly right. hair. And Christ said, I look just like my father. Ain't no way around that. Ain't no way around Ain't that. No way around That's that. black Jesus for you. Right? right. Right? All right, let's go to Luke 19, 21. <laughs> let's see what type of demeanor. Because it said they was going to deceive many. They was going to change his image, his teachings, and most of all, his demeanor, how he rolled. Right. Let's read that. Luke chapter 19, verse 21. Luke chapter 19, verse 21. Uh -huh. For I fear thee, because thou art an austere man. A what? An austere man. An austere man means serious. Right. He was serious about his mission here on earth. Teach the law, statutes, of commandments of God. Save the nation of Israel. And he wasn't wavering for that. He wasn't right. sugarcoating his words. He was austere about the mission that he was on that God sent him on. Read it again. Verse 20, Luke 21. 19 and 21. Uh -huh. For I fear thee, because thou art an austere man. Thou takest up that thou layest down, thou layest not down, and reapest that thou didst not sow. So Christ was an austere, serious man right. about the business of God. Hey, we read that back in Luke, right? Right. When he was 12 years old, he said, you didn't know? I'm about, about my, my father's, father's business. business. Right. <laughs> he was that same way all the way till he was hung on the cross. 12 years old, he wasn't playing no he games. He wasn't playing the radio. He wasn't playing the radio. He was about the business of the Lord, right? right? Go to Isaiah chapter 47. We're getting some more about the demeanor of, of, of Jesus the Christ. Black Jesus. That's Isaiah right. 47 verse 3. Isaiah chapter 7, 47 and verse 3. Uh -huh. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. He's talking about his second coming. Mm. It says he was an austere man while he was here on earth. Right. And he let you put him on the cross so he can fulfill his mission. Right. But when he returns back to destroy Babylon the Great, he said, I won't meet you as a man. Mm. All that all that uh, you mm. want me to listen to you and... and and uh, uh, you want me to see it your way, right, and right. you want me to compromise, you want me to know your heart. He said, I ain't going to meet you as a man. I'm going to meet right. you as a God. Mm. Ain't going to be no taking me down. You know how much it's not going to be no taking him down? Go to, um, uh, we'll, we'll get to it after this. We'll get to this. <laughs> right. No, no, let me go get to it right now. Isaiah chapter 63. Isaiah All chapter right. 63. <laughs> Verse, and we got to read one through nine, so you got to read, read quick. quick. This is what he means when I won't meet you as a man. Read that. Isaiah chapter 63, verse 1. Who is that that cometh from Edom? Edom is the so-called white man. Go ahead. With dyed garments from Basra. This, that is glorious in his apparel. We read about that glorious garment in Revelation 14. Go ahead. Traveling in the greatness of his strength. He's strong. Go ahead. And that speak in righteousness mighty to save. Uh-huh. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel? Why does your clothes look like he got blood on it? Go ahead. And thy garments like him that treadeth the wine fat. It look like you've been stomping out grapes. Go ahead. I have trodden the wine press alone. That's how much he ain't going to meet you as a man. He's, I'm going to be alone. Hmm. Go ahead. And of the people, there was none with me. I don't need nobody's help. Go ahead. For I will tread them in mine anger. He's coming back how? I will tread them in mine anger. Well, like Jesus coming back mad. He ain't coming back with no two angels, no naked angels floating on a cloud. He coming back mad. 
Read on. And trample them in my fury. Uh -huh. And their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments. I told you that red up top that we talked about in his apparel. That was blood. Go ahead. And I will stain all my raiment. It's going to be. It, look, this you can't put no ice on this. There's right. no Clorox you can throw on this right. to get the blood out. It's going to be too deep soaked no in his clothes. Ain't no vinegar. It's going to be soaked in his clothes. Go ahead. For the day of vengeance is in my heart. And the year of my redeem is come. That's the Israelites. Go ahead. And I looked, and there was none to help. And I want, and I wondered that there was none to uphold. Therefore, mine own arm brought salvation unto me, and my fury it upheld me. You know he. So you know what that means. He came back just like you know how the the uh, credible Hulk right. got that power. The right. more angry he, he gets, the stronger he gets. Right. He ain't got nothing on Black Jesus when he right. come back. That's right. Black Jesus, uh, 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 Incredible Hulk, bet not come to life out of the movies. He, he gonna hide like he did he gonna, with Thanos. <laughs> he gonna get beat down like Thanos, did he? Stop him out. Ain't gonna be no body slam in, into the, he's not, he gonna body slam his ass through the earth. Through the earth. You ain't gonna see him Thanos no more. Say, do you like uh, that? Uh, read verse 7. Verse 7. I will mention the loving kindness of the Lord and the praise of the Lord according to According to all that the Lord hath bestowed on us, uh -huh. and the good and the great goodness towards the house of Israel, which He hath bestowed on them, according to the mercies and according to the multitude of His loving kindness, He's coming back for the nation of Israel. Now go to Habakkuk. Go to Habakkuk. Remember, we just read that that He ain't gonna need no help, right? Right. He don't need no help. But how's He rolling when He come back? Habakkuk chapter three, and let's read verse ten and eleven. Habakkuk chapter three, verse ten. Uh -huh. The mountain saw thee. And they trembled, and the overflowing of the water passed by. The deep uttered his voice, and lift up his hands on high. Read on. The sun and the moon stood still in their habitation, uh -huh. and the light of thine arrows they went. And at the shining of thy glittering spear, You're coming back with a spear, go ahead. Thou didst march through the land in indignation, angry against who? Thou didst thresh. thresh the heathen in anger. He's mad at the heathens, all other nations. Go ahead. Thou wentest forth for the salvation of thy people. We just read that in Isaiah 63, the right. loving kindness of Israel. Go ahead. Even for salvation with thine anointing, uh -huh. thou wentest the head. Thou woundest thou, the head. Thou woundest the head out of the house of the wicked. He's going to destroy the top nation on the earth, the head, which is Babylon the Great, mm. a.k.a. America. That's right. He's taking them all out when he come back. Because right. this is the land of wickedness. Right. Go ahead. By discovering the foundation unto the neck, Selah. Jump down to verse 16. Verse 16. When I heard, my belly trembled, my lips quivered at the voice. Rottenness entered into my bone. He was scared. Go ahead. And I trembled in myself that I might rest in the day of trouble. Please let me be dead. Go ahead. When he cometh upon the uh, uh, when he cometh up unto the people, uh -huh. he will invade them with this troop. With his, his troops. troops. Now, now just think of it. He invade them with his troops, which is the angels, right. but he said, I ain't gonna need no right. help. I won't meet you as a man. Bang. They just here for backup. That's just to watch me level. stomp you like grapes. That's, on level. <laughs> That's power right there, boy. All right, let's jump to uh, Luke chapter 12. Let's go to Luke chapter 12. I know we got 15 minutes with a captain, but today we'll go a little bit over, all right? Because we're talking about black Jesus. That's right. Let's go to Luke chapter 12, verse 49 and f through 40, uh, 53. Luke chapter 12, verse 49. Uh-huh. I am come to send fire on earth. Jesus, on earth. black Jesus came to send fire on earth. Go ahead. And what will I? If it be already kindled. Meaning, oh, how I wish I could destroy this place right now. But right. it's not time for that. Right. It's not time for that. I, got it. I am disciplined. I'm going to wait and hold back my power. Right. Go ahead. But I have a baptism to the baptized with. Uh-huh. And how am I straightened till it be accomplished? How serious I am to get this mission done. Go ahead. Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth. Uh-huh. I tell you, nay, but rather division. Black Jesus is all about division. White Jesus want to gather all nations together and everybody be happy in the kingdom. Black Jesus, ain't, he ain't about that. He's coming for one particular people, and they better be righteous when he come back. Right. Or he going to stomp them like grapes, too. Right. He about division. Go ahead. For from henceforth, there shall be five in one house divided, uh -huh. three against two, 
and two against three. Read on. The father shall be divided against the son, and the son against the father, mm -hmm. the mother against the daughter, and the daughter against the mother, Read. and the mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. He's about separating families. Mm -hmm. Because he's serious about God. So he wants the people that he's going to save to be serious about God just like he That's was. Right. Let's go to uh, Matthew chapter 16 now. We're getting some more about black Jesus' demeanor. Matthew 16, 21. Matthew chapter 16, verse 21. 21 through 23. From that time, forth began Jesus to show unto his disciples how that he must go unto Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and the chief priests and scribes and he... And, uh, and be killed, mm -hmm. and be raised again the third day. You know? Then Peter took him, and began to rebuke him. So Peter's like, no, you can't complete the mission that you're so serious about. Right. I know you're right. serious about uh, completing your mission, but no, 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 you can't right. do that. <laughs> Let's see what Jesus said. Keep reading. Saying, be it far from me, from thee, from thee, Lord, this shall not be unto thee. I know you got a mission, I know you're serious, but you can't complete it. I want you to stay back, right? right? Go ahead, Let's see what Jesus said. But he turned and said unto him, uh -huh. Get thee behind me, Satan. He, Peter, you better watch your step, what you said right. to me. Right. Get behind me, you got the devil on you. <laughs> right. Black Jesus wasn't afraid to check his own friends. Right. He wasn't afraid to check the people around him that wasn't about the mission of God. Get behind me, Satan. Right. Peter, you got the devil on you. Get thee behind me, Satan. Read on. Thou art an offense unto me. Uh -huh. For thou savorest not the things that be of God, uh -huh. but those that be of men. And that's many of our people today. You worried about what man think instead of what God thinks. Emotions. Emotions. That's what Peter was. I, you I was love emotional. You, Jesus. Don't do the thing don't that you die. can't do. <laughs> don't die. I don't want you to die. That was emotions. And right. Jesus said, you better check yourself. You got the devil on you right. right now. Right? Let's go to uh, Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. Read Matthew back. chapter 1, verse 21. Uh -huh. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. Uh -huh. For he shall save his people from their sins. Black Jesus didn't come to save everybody. Mm. He didn't come to save no Chinese people, mm. no Arab people, no East Indian people, right. no Russian people, no right. Czechoslovakian people. Right. He didn't come to save. He didn't come to save no Caucasian people from the Russian mountain. No, 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 no. He came right. to save his people, and this is before he was born. Right. The mission was already instilled in his spirit mm. to save his people. Let's see what he said when he became of age. Matthew fifteen twenty four. Let's see if it changed. Let's see if he got he popped out, and then the Romans' way of life had some kind of influence on right, him, right. and then he converted to Christianity. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, read that. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. Uh -huh. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. His whole life, the mission never changed. Before he popped out the wound, I'm saving my people. While I'm here on earth, I'm only here for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's right. Let's get Colossians chapter 1. What else about black Jesus can we learn today in 15 to 20 minutes or so? Uh, Colossians chapter 15, uh, Colossians 1, 15 through 17. Colossians chapter 1, verse 15. Uh -huh. Who is the image of the inv invisible God? We read that he's the image of him, a black man with woolly hair. Go ahead. The firstborn of every creature. I am Alpha and Omega. Go ahead. For by him were all things created. Jesus did what? For by him all things created. Created. All the beautiful things on the earth, the face of the earth, God gave him the power to create everything. Right. Go ahead. That are in heaven. The angels. And that are in earth. Uh huh. Visible and invisible. The things you can't even see, the air you breathe in, Christ made that. Go ahead. Whether they be whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, uh -huh. all things were created by him. And for him. All things were created by black Jesus. So you can think of the most beautiful uh, uh, vacation destination. And a black man mm. created that. That's thing. right. A black man with some creativity created that thing. Only a black man can create right. this earth. As beautiful right. as, as some of these areas are, especially down in the islands, right. you got to have an imagination and to do that. Something as complex as the brain. As Thousands of neurons The body and, that's that yeah, made to man. fix itself is made right. to live forever. Right. And the only reason it dies is because of sin. Right. Only a black man can think outside the box oh, like that. Read verse 17. And he is before all things. 
and by him all things consist. That's Black Jesus in 15 to 20 minutes. I've been Captain Zakar to my right. Officer Uriel. Shalom. Most high Christ bless. Now that we see the treatment of God. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.